And welcome back, everybody. So, we're continuing on today, and uh, today we're going to visit the quaint little place of Rose Town. Sounds like a pleasant place, doesn't it? Well, I'm sure there's nothing wrong going around, going on here. All right, and we got this scary music, and what do you know? It arrows are falling from the sky because that's totally normal. But I'm sure we'll never have to worry about this. We'll never have to fight the guy behind this, I'm sure. It's just, you know, a coincidence or something that this is happening. But anyway, let's just randomly go into people's houses. You know, it's very nice of the family to send the old man to, you know, pump the water. It doesn't really make any sense, but... I don't know. This game, that's all I can say. Crazy. Yeah, my emulator can't quite handle these gra graphics, it seems like. Everyone just disappeared there. So now we're in the shop, and uh, we're gonna buy some new armor. Now they don't get very creative with the armor here for our, for the characters in the game. Yes, uh, from from a shirt we go to a thick shirt, and from Mallow he gets from pants to thick pants. So remember, kids, if you ever want to go out and fight monsters and you want to protect yourself, all you need is thicker clothing. You'll be fine. No problems there at all. Uh-huh. No problems. Now, I also bought a uh, fearless pin. Um, I think what fear attacks do is that they um, they prevent you from using your uh, special attacks, I believe. But, um, so it, it, it's a useful item to have. And it prevents you from getting, from characters getting scared by, you know, by certain attacks. Very useful. Now, I'm not sure how to get that treasure chest. If there's anyone in the comments knows how to get that, let me know. But uh, I'll probably come back for it after uh, probably another video or two. I don't know, it's just too tempting to leave there. Also, there was a chest I went back and got off screen. It's a frog coin back in the previous section. But I'll let you guys find that, no problem, as I try to in vain to get this stupid tr chest. I tried, like, th there's a chimney. I thought I could go down that or, to get it, but no, nope, no luck on that either. So, yeah, I just gave up on it. Um, right here I'm going to show you what happens when, when I try to, like, equip items. Um, I know I've touched on this before, but, like, when I try to equip items for the characters, it just freezes my emulator for some reason. So, yeah. But after that foolishness, we're going to continue randomly going into people's houses, because that's what real people do, right? And apparently her husband's missing. That's, that's sad. This guy can't get in his house, because uh, apparently he has stairs hidden in there that we can't really see so we have to go into his house and um, open the stairs. I don't, I don't get these treasure chests just because I well we'll see but uh, yeah apparently around here big giant press plates that power everything around here so all I gotta do is just jump on that and there you go the steps are out and um, he asks us if uh, his treasure chests are okay and what I think is funny is I like to say yes because you know, I prefer just to steal things when he's able to look, because, uh, you know, I'm just going to go right back in there and take all the money and everything. Now, remember, left, left, straight, right, when we go to, you know, something with four paths, we want to find something good. Remember that. Left, left, straight, right. Now, we're getting his money, and I love how he just doesn't say anything about it. It's just one of those things that cracks me up, really. And I go back in some of these houses just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, being completely serious, if anyone knows how to get that treasure chest in there, let me know because I'd really like to get it. Because I just love getting pointless things. Pointless things make me. Pointless things make my life complete, honestly. So. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in this town besides the following arrows. You never have to worry about them hitting you. Um, just random characters, well not random, but like, preset characters will get hit by them, and it doesn't kill them or anything, they just get frozen for all you out there who are worried. And she gets hit, that's sad. And, <laughs> I just want to say this right quick, I love how this family just seems totally oblivious to everything that's happening, because they're just going on like nothing's happening. And this kid's playing with a, a Mario, Bowser, and a Peach Dolls. That's kind of funny how apparently they're merchandising the characters in this game, apparently. 
It's borderline social commentary, I guess, but you know, whatever. He also doesn't apparently think too much of Mario, because um, when he during his little imaginary play thing, whatever, Bowser beats Mario, so that's always nice. Yes, there's a guest. By the way, this is an inn, if it's not totally obvious. But, uh, yeah. This kid wants us to prove we're Mario. And, um, apparently, J Mario's jumping ability is his Junker ID. Now, I'll give anyone out there who got that reference a cookie. For just, you know, whatever. Just If you got, got the reference, just let me know. Tell me where it's from. But, uh, anyway, he wants us to play with him because... Apparently, when there's arrows falling down on, from the sky outside, no one can come over, apparently. So, he wants us to be Bowser. We can be someone cool for a change, I guess. And, um, he will be some unknown character named Gino, the, a doll, who we'll see here just in a minute. Yep, there he is. And, uh, I'm sure this will have no importance to the plot at all, this Gino doll. I'm, that's ridiculous. How can a doll have any bearing on a plot? But, yeah, they kind of fool around for a bit here. And, um, what happens here is it's just so ridiculously funny. Apparently this doll, like, <laughs> it's an action figure that can actually hurt people. Because, like, it, he misses the doll and hits Mario and it knocks him out. How ridiculous is that? So anyway, he knocks him out, and while everyone's asleep at night, um, we have a star, and this is what's interesting. Now, we don't know who, what this mystery star thing is yet, but uh, apparently it's, he's, trying, he's going to possess one of these dolls. Mario has been done, Bowser, too ugly, Peach is too girly, this generic NPC, just right, apparently. And you know, I'm, I, you may sound like I'm giving this thing a hard time, but in actuality, this is probably like one of my favorite characters in the game ever. This character we're about to meet here. Um, so yeah, the star possessed the doll, and it took the form of Gino, which is the doll, of course. And um, but we don't know if he's a friend or foe yet. We'll have to find out sooner or later. And uh, apparently can't walk quite yet. But he bangs his head and he can walk just fine. Okay. So remember kids, if you're ever disoriented, just bang your head against the wall. And you'll be just fine. Later. It's morning time. Yay, right? Uh, we'll save the game right quick because you can never do that enough times. Honestly, I don't know why I bother considering I can just save state, but, you know, I like to be thorough, I guess. So, apparently he's missing his doll, and he saw Gino walk into the forest. And, uh, the mom doesn't believe him, because, you know, grown-ups don't have an imagination, therefore they can believe nothing. And, by the way, why is she letting him go outside when there's freaking arrows falling from the sky, hitting people? Irresponsible parenting, I tell you. It's probably these kids today. Uh huh. What would you know in the forest? Hmm. But who? But who possessed the doll in the first place? And took his form. The mysteries abound, I tell you. Mysteries, mysteries. A doll dressed in a blue cape walks through the forest. Well, let's go follow him, I guess, because we have nothing better to do. But, what is the mystery behind this um, doll come to life? And who is shooting these arrows into the town? Well, I guess we'll just have to find out next time. But until then, um, just keep on watching and um, get ready for a special video tomorrow. So, have a good one, everybody.